Welcome back to the Astro Park, everyone. My name is Kwesi Aqua, and as you may have seen in my latest imaging session video that I did on the Pleiades, I have acquired a new bundle of joy, which means that this video will be another continuation of the series that I'm calling My Telescope Family where I talk about the different types of telescopes that I personally own and use for astronomy and astrophotography. So today's video is going to be all about the Orion Eon 70 ED. So let's get this guy up on the mount and I'll talk about all of its features. The Orion Eon 70 ED is a quadruplet astrograph refractor telescope. An astrograph means that this telescope is designed exclusively for astrophotography. So unfortunately, you can't use an eyepiece on this system. And the lens is a quadruplet design. So there's four lens elements in this system, and I like to think of it as a three and one lens element design. The first three lenses are at the front, just like your standard triplet apochromatic refractor, and two of those lenses are made of ED or extra low dispersion glass, which gives the telescope excellent color correction as well as very minimal to practically zero chromatic aberration. And the two ED elements in this telescope are made of FCD 100 glass, made from the Japanese company called Hoya. And the fourth element in this system is basically a built-in field flattener. So as the name implies, it basically flattens the field to make sure that your stars are nice and round from the center of your image all the way out to the edge of the image. Now with other refractor designs, you have to use an external field flattener to put at the back of your imaging train. And you also have to use a series of spacers in between the field flattener and your camera sensor to get the proper back focus which is usually the standard 55 millimeters. However, with this telescope, you don't have to worry about that as the field flattener is built right into the system. So it's fully corrected right out of the box. So all you need to do is take your camera, attach it to the back, and you're all set for imaging. So as its namesake suggests, the Orion Eon 70 ED has a 70 millimeter aperture and a 350 millimeter focal length, which gives the telescope a focal ratio of F5. So with this focal length, you're basically working with a pretty wide field of view which makes this telescope ideal for photographing those medium to large deep space objects. So the classic objects such as the Orion Nebula, the Andromeda Galaxy, the Rosette Nebula, the North American Nebula, basically those medium to large deep space objects should come out pretty nicely in this telescope. And you can also photograph the smaller deep space objects that are pretty close together, as well as those small galaxy clusters, such as Markarian's chain, for example. Also with the wide field of view at about three degrees or so, you can survey wide areas of the night sky. So you don't have to worry about taking separate sections of the sky and putting them together in a mosaic. So it's pretty time-saving in that regard. 
Also, the telescope supports a variety of camera sensor sizes. So, for example, the camera that I use, the ZWO ASI 2600 MC Pro, it has an APS-C size sensor, which pairs very nicely with this telescope. However, if your camera has a full frame size sensor, Orion stated that you may experience a little bit of vignetting at the edge of your photo, but that can be corrected by taking your proper flat frames. So some of the features that this telescope includes is that it has a pair of heavy duty tube rings and the rings have machine holes drilled through them to help you attach any accessories that you may need. And I don't have it displayed here, but the package also comes with a handle attachment. And the handle on top has a Arcus Swiss design attachment where you can attach any camera accessories as well. And it also doubles as a carrying handle for you to move and transport the telescope. Now, my favorite part of this telescope is the focuser, as it's a three inch, very sturdy rack and pinion focuser. And the focuser is cut diagonally at a bias to prevent any slippage of the column. So there's very minimal to no focus backlash, which is really good. And at the back here, we have the standard 54 millimeter female thread attachment. And the package also comes included with a series of step down adapters. So I have attached here the 54 millimeter to 48 millimeter step down. And it also comes with a 48 millimeter to 42 millimeter step down. So you can mix and match and figure out which attachment works the best for your camera. And this black knob right here, you can twist to adjust the camera in any orientation. So that helps you with framing up your object properly. And of course, as the standard, it has the 10 to one reduction focus knob. So the black knob is for your coarse adjustment and the orange knob is for your finer adjustment. And there's very minimal focus backlash and the focuser moves very smoothly. And the last thing I wanna talk about is the sliding dew shield. So you can extend it fully to protect the lens from any dew formation as well as any external light sources. And Orion added something to the dew shield that I personally hope will become the standard for all refractor telescopes. They added a series of three hex screws that you can adjust with an Allen key to adjust the tightness to make sure that the dew shield is nice and snug so it, it holds properly in place. I've been experiencing this problem with my Orion Eon 104 EDX2 telescope, as whenever the telescope points directly up into the sky at the zenith, gravity tends to pull the dew shield down back to its retracted state. So I had to prop the sh dew shield back up again with a series of rubber bands. Although it doesn't affect the performance of the telescope in terms of the image quality, it is a minor inconvenience that I've been dealing with. So Orion was able to correct that with this new hex screw system. And you can tighten it down with an Allen key to make sure that it's nice and snug and it won't slip around as you're slewing the telescope across the night sky. Also, if you're somebody like me who uses a flat field panel box to take my flat frames, where I have to point the telescope upward and put the flat box on top, the gravity won't push the box down, so it'll hold it very tightly and securely. And whenever you're finished, you can 
bring the shield back to its retracted state and it can fit in its heavy duty aluminum case that it comes packaged with. So overall, it's a great system that takes excellent images and you can move it around in terms of portability for your traveling experiences. Here's a few sample images that I've taken so far using the Eon 70 ED. So that was my overview for the Orion Eon 70 ED. If you're an astrophotographer that enjoys deep space objects and want to take wide surveys of the night sky, then the Orion Eon 70 ED can be a great candidate to add to your arsenal. I've personally had a lot of fun using this telescope and I look forward to the future images that I'll be able to take with it. So thank you for watching Astro Park and as always, until next time, take care and I wish you all clear skies.